Good morning, Low Country, and welcome to another episode of Palmetto Life. I'm your host, Emily Zuhowski. As you know, we are preparing all week long for our live show in Somerville on Friday at the Flower Town Festival. And today we are taking you to a local coffee roaster transforming the world's highest quality, sustainably grown beans into the best freshly roasted coffee available. That's what they say. They say their name is synonymous with the best cup of coffee you've ever tasted and it's in it's right in the heart of downtown Somerville. We're here in Somerville at Coastal Coffee Roasters where we're learning the history behind this local coffee shop. And take a look and see how uh, coffee is roasted. their morning cup of coffee and today we're going to get ours right here in the heart of Somerville at Coastal Coffee Roasters and today I'm here with Brad. He is the owner here and I just want to say thank you so much for having us here. Absolutely, it's our pleasure. We are so excited. It smells amazing in here. I love the smell of coffee and you have some yummy pastries and we're going to get into but first talk to me a little bit about how your business got started. We came from the New York area. I uh, grew up in New England, and the children's mother, uh, she was from the New York area. Decided the corporate life wasn't for us, and decided to make a, a leap of faith. Um, my best friend had passed away from cancer, and his widow found Somerville. So she brought us down here to show us where she was moving to, and then we just kind of made the decision to leap and move to Somerville. We knew one person, and now you can go around the community and talk about Coastal Coffee Roasters, or myself or any of the other family or staff that work here. Pretty much everybody knows everybody. It's basically a family here. This is a family. It is a family. And also with your workers as well, you all are yeah. very close-knit and I love that. So let's They call me Brad Dad. They've got <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a cool name to have. Yeah, I love it. Is. Okay, so you all have so much coffee here that you all yes. roast right here in house, right next door. We're gonna get into later. Oh yeah, my son is on the other side with his team. You really have his family business going on. Yes. It's amazing. Do. Okay, so we're gonna get into that later, but first let's talk about the different types of coffee you have. So yes. I know there's so many, but what are some of them? So the majority of what we have behind you displayed in the buckets below or up on top. Looks like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It does. <laughs> it's Willy Wonka's chocolate factory for coffee. There you go. And they're sourced from all over the world. From the early days we did have some people coming in and helping us out is to like help to develop the blends for how to do that. Everything has a story behind it. So every blend, uh, Rachel's blend is our my daughter, and Nick and Nick was by my son roasting coffee, p uh, blending them, made a mistake, and one of our staff at the time says, ah, don't worry about it, it's all good. We'll mix it together. We'll call it Nick and Nick. So that's how Nick and Nick was came about. My nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. And that's what we do every day. Everybody. What makes your coffee different from other places here? I would say the love and passion that goes into it. Balzac Brothers is a fifth generation coffee importer that we established a very early relationship with. Um, Lisa Cohen and her team of ICT, uh, we were one of her first customers. So it's a, that family, that community, it's making those win-win relationships that have helped raise the the bar for the quality of the coffee we got. And not only do y'all have coffee, y'all have yummy pastries as oh, yeah. well. We have an in-house pastry chef who is my longest employee. So she is amazing. Kristen does an amazing job. But the blueberry scones are probably one of the most famous things we have. Then we also have the strawberry cream cheese muffins. We have coffee cakes. Everybody has their little piece. The whoopie pie, I came from the Northeast. It had to have a whoopie pie. Once she developed it, people will come here to have it. What is your favorite part about Somerville? The people. The people. The weather. The weather is very good. <laughs> the weather is good. The, but the people. Um, the relationships that have been made. And a very quick story. We had those floods a few years ago, and there was so much water on the front of the building that I was able to take a kayak and go down the street and say I never thought I could do this in Somerville South Carolina I did a post at the end of the day because the water was in here I mean it was everything was flooded 
I just said, oh, I guess the next day is cleanup and we're closed on Sundays. 50 people showed up the next day, not asked, not nothing. It was just so heartfelt to have the entire community come out and support their coffee shop to get them back up and running. But it was just very interesting to see how just as we're requesting, I guess tomorrow's cleaning day, and then 50 people come out and just took care of everything so that they could be open on Monday morning. Or I say they. See, it's not even my coffee shop, it's their coffee shop. <laughs> So we came right next door from the cafe and we are now here in their beautiful warehouse where all the magic happens. I'm here with Richard. He is the director of coffee and Richard makes it all happen, right? Heck yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. Okay, so right next to us we have this beautiful machine. So yes. talk to me about kind of how the roasting of coffee goes. Yeah, so we have our beans right here in the drum section of the roaster. And um, actually there was the first crack right there. So that indicates like the last stage of the roasting process. Um, it's heated on both sides by ceramic plates and um, it's tumbling around. We have a little trier wand right here. So you can look at the beans. You know, typically come in nice and early and fire up this bad boy and uh, get it nice and hot. And then um, batch after batch, just cranking them out, um, doing orders and stuff for our wholesale clients. And uh, you know, the cafe uses a lot of coffee too. So making sure that's stocked. Yeah. Um, we ship coffee all over the country. So we all also go into the, the UPS store and mailing out stuff. Uh, last year we shipped to all 50 states. You wanna get ready to open it? Yep. I'll give you a countdown. Three, two, two one, one, go. <gasps> Look at all the coffee beans. <sighs> yep. How cool is this? <laughs> Yay. Look at that, right on the money. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good too. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So that noise you're hearing, that's second crack. That's the uh, one of the last things you do uh, for this coffee. Yeah. So right as it hits that second crack, that's when we're dropping it. Gotcha. And then talk to me about the process after this. So the coffee beans will spin in there for about four-ish, five minutes. And then after that, we use these uh, food grade buckets down here. And the coffee will go into there either to sit to be bagged later, or if we need it right away, we'll take it right to the cafe and add it to those bins. get some delicious pastries or a fresh brewed coffee here at Coastal Coffee Roasters and you can also get a free sticker of the owner Brad. <laughs>